Hello and welcome, you are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I have some more loadout action for you. We are in the beta, the PvE beta, also known as Loadout 5.0. The uh, Fade Out Cobra has informed me, and, and also informed all of you, that yes, beta now is live, and all you gotta do is search for it on Steam, so basically just type in loadout and it'll pop up right there, you just download it. And if you already have a character that is in loadout, like I do here, it's already going to be in the game and, you know, things like your friends list is already populated, so that is pretty awesome right there. So, just letting you guys know, yes, loadout. PvE beta is now live. Now what I'm going to do for this video is I'm just going to actually play the game here, kind of give you some of my first impressions. If you are an informed player, then you probably are following the dev streams and what, all that stuff that's going on there, so you probably already kind of know a lot of the changes that are going to be coming down the pipes. If you're not, then we're going to be discovering them as we play this game here. And what I expect is that as I'm playing through the PvE campaign on the early end of things, that things are probably going to be pretty easy and pretty... Um, Maybe even lame, <laughs> because uh, what the game is trying to do, what the devs are trying to do with this uh, beta right now, is collect a lot of statistics. So that's why everybody is level one and, ha and has no perks as far as like purchase stuff and all that, all that stuff that goes on there. So they're just kind of doing that stuff to collect the data and also see what people find are going to be too hard, what things are going to be too easy, and then do all that balancing before release. So yes, it's beta. Just letting you guys know. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the menu here just to kind of see what things have kind of changed. If we start off with the fight tab, obviously um, you're going to see here this is the campaign thing that popped open. That's not what I was first on. This is what first pops up. So you have ranked. You have the arena. So are you ready for a real challenge? Try some red hot PvP action. Um, right now that is locked until level 2. And then ranked is locked until level 20. Then you have a private match. Yay! And then you can play with the other people as well. And then there's the campaign mode. So more options there. Um, pretty much the three that you already always had. And then campaign. Now, weapon crafting here is different. As you can see here, unlock at level 3, unlock at level 5, unlock in the store. This is how it's showing up right now. They give you a couple of crappy guns. Let me go ahead and take a look at this. Now, one thing that I've noticed already is that certain things, names of stuff, is absolutely different. Like the poor stock here is just kind of different um now the problem i'm kind of already seeing with this is that i don't know what type of stock it is be it a compact or like an aluminum obviously you could know just by looking at it if you play the game a lot but if you don't then you won't actually know but then again they have the stats down there so you're able to figure that out anyhow and they do give you some cool stuff like different little uh readings and stuff that come out with the little pop over tab for more information Rusty sides, uh, whatever barrel, and then itchy trigger. I kind of like that. Or you can do like three round burst because you're fancy. Trashy magazine and whatnot. But this gun is pretty much, it's not so good. It's not even as good as the gun I think you got when you first started the game. Um, back in like 1.0, 2.0 and all that stuff. Dud launcher. That's actually going to be kind of interesting. Let's customize this real quick. Poor stock, rusty sights, and whatnot. So if I want to make this into, let's say, a pulse weapon. Obviously, I kind of already have this stuff, so let's just see what happens here. Insert dynamics. Okay, I got it. And then weak slug. Just out of curiosity, just kind of see what they got for pulse rounds. I got to remap my controls. I normally have reload on the mouse here, just because that's uh, a lot easier to get to than the actual R button. So that's another thing that I kind of got to redo, but a lot of things are staying the same Like the gore settings that I would have had otherwise those are staying the same the name the friends list That's all still there. And that's pretty cool for the beta and whatnot and That's pretty weak, but there you go. That's one of the guns we can do I also notice that the grenades these are things you're gonna be able to buy in the game and whatnot But look at that only 50 damage out of that I suppose it's not too bad but, um, there you go. That's a couple of things right there. I'm not going to actually do this. I'm just going to leave that. Do you want to leave? Yeah, that's what I want. All right, so as far as loadouts, we've kind of already seen this. The outfitter hasn't changed at all, so I'm not even going to show that. The locker shows a little bit of summaries here. Statistics, avatar, ranked, all kind of obvious. They still have the same rank system that they had back in 4.0. And then as far as the summary goes here, we have the campaign. So that's kind of new. Yay. And then uh, inventory. This is going to be something that's completely new to a lot of us and that's just going to be right now the only inventory item I have is the three round burst besides the default items fusion mode means you can combine stuff and try to get some new stuff if you have junk 360 items as you can see there 
Store. All right, so let's see what we got in the store. I haven't actually looked at this yet, so this is going to be new to me. Featured. So XP boost, get space bucks, redeem code. I've also noticed as far as the gear goes, um, the shirts, like the Razor shirt that I have, or the beta shirt and stuff like that, that isn't in the beta right now. I don't know if it will be. Loadout, gun slots, you can buy more gun slots. Yay, gold. Avatars, yeah, XP boost, bombs. Bombs are interesting, this is new. This is new to me, I don't know what a bomb is or how it works in the game. I know how a bomb works in real life, it blows up. And then parts and equipment, so this is kind of interesting. A medium crate, level one to five, large crate. So you get different items that cost different amounts and get money and this is where you can come to buy things. Or you can get stuff for pulse, beam, assault pack, equipment. Uh, just kind of all kinds of different things. Anyhow. And then uh, launcher parts. So you can buy individual parts. Rare slug, rare lobbed. A lot of these different options. Again, these are all available for the beta. I'm not sure if it's going to be. They, they actually have admitted that a lot of this stuff, they don't really know if it's going to be in the release because just how um, they're just making it available just to see what people actually want to buy. And then rifle parts, beam parts, both parts, equipment. So that's where you can get different things there. So, yay! And then disguise is technically a lot cheaper. So that's pretty cool. And it's all level dependent and all this stuff. And you do shields and I don't know. At any rate, that's not blah, 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 blah stuff is all done there. Let's go ahead and choose a mission and get started on the campaign mode, shall we? I guess I'm going to go with this loadout. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so we gotta defend the locale from what? Where is force has landed. where is the alien force? Oh, a couple of peons. Now I think this is actually going to change just how we go about creating weapons. There's going to be weapons that is just going to be like peon slayers, and then all that kind of stuff. So I'm I'm looking forward to the weapon crafting, kind of like what I've done in the past. Just to kind of see what weapons work well on things. It's like, oh man, you know peons are pretty good at shooting or something like that, or I don't know. I'm just kind of shooting now. Whee! Okay. Dropped a health pack. That was cool. Now, I have seen the thing that loot is shared. So you guys just gotta, like, it'll drop a crate. We'll see it pretty soon, and we'll just have to pick it up. So this stuff's heading towards me. Ow, it's shooting me up pretty good. Killing peons, killing peons. We'll try the launcher. Oh, not too powerful. Yeah, kill streak of five. Cool. Do I have a bot on our team? Yeah, we have a bot on our team against bots. So that's interesting. So you'll never be just playing by your own. Grunts, looks like he's got a little bit more power, a little bit faster. Cans are pretty small. I feel like a sweet flat cannon is going to be a way to go. Um. Okay, that's sound. Okay, so that was loot right there. I'll, I'll be able to open that up later. All right, so the enemy is now coming from many different directions. Yeah. Oh, I can one-shot melee him. That's the way to go. There's a health pack. I can now see that on the map. That's nice. It's up here. The next wave of aliens is on the way. Right there. Equipment and health. Yeah, I'm just gonna melee them all. Woohoo! Where are you gonna come from? Where are you gonna come from? I wonder how RC is actually gonna work on this. You are gonna have to gear yourself differently for this. You're gonna need stuff with large magazines so you can spread out the damage. Or something that might reload quicker. Yeah, that's my initial thoughts. Kicking butt so far. Ooh, look at me. 
15 kills. The last wave is now on the way. <laughs> I don't want to get cut off by the enemy. But I also don't want to lose my lead. Mm -mm. It's all about pride now. Competition. Yeah! 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 Nope! Woo! Oh! I got two... Aggressive there, died at a 23 kill streak. You have won. But we ended up winning. There we go, We're getting all kinds of things. Mass murder, participation. Sweet. Did I get level five all the way from that? We'll see. Yeah. Killed to death, 23 to zero. <laughs> yeah, other people didn't die at all. Well, that was interesting. A lot of those things there were trying to, uh, so we say, the enemy was trying to take out the flag there, so you just had to defend it, and it looks like it was a cumulative thing throughout the match. So, weapon part, I got an exhaust port, so that's going to reduce kickback for a launcher, and then I got a scope, and this is going to be primary to some sort of weapon, and then again, a standard stock, and then a uh, reward box crate. If I go over to loot... Yeah, that'll be there, because that's stuff I kind of picked up during the match. I believe the crate is the reward for the match itself. So, what I want to do here is open box and see what I get. Oh, I saw dynamite there. No dynamite needed, you can just open it. So I got an agile round, slug, scatter, standard, semi-auto. So that's all pretty cool. Let me go over, am I still in a match? No, I'm not. All right, so let's go and see what I can weapon craft here real quick and see if we see any interesting things. So we're just going to do uh, PvE broth, right? Just kind of see what a weapon is now. So now that I have a pulse weapon here, this is probably what I want. Stock, no it's stock for it, no scope, no barrel, no itchy trigger, no magazine. What did I get? Okay, so now that I got a launcher, you can see a star next to something that I, I guess I got some new stuff here. Interesting. So it now throws a standard stock onto the end instead of a horse stock, so I get some more damage out of it. So I could apply that to the assault rifle if I wanted to. In the barrel, I could use scattered over the, basically the assault barrel. But I don't think I'd really want to do that, because I still have a trashy base. <laughs> Uh, as far as that, I can also do what? The launcher as well. So the exhaust port, a standard, is still going to be better than the exhaust port, really. Rusty sights, probably don't want to touch that. Itchy trigger, though. I can do semi auto, and that's going to boost the damage there. So that's something new. And then I got the agile round, so that's also going to help it as well. Slug as opposed to weak slug, so there we go. It's now starting to become a little bit stronger. Yeah, I want to put it in the loadout. So I'm going to replace the dud launcher with the PvE broth and move on from there. Actually, if I come over here to the pea shooter, I should be able to customize this gun as well. And I don't really want to change that. I just want to throw a standard stock on there. And that's going to help build up that weapon. Now, did I get any gold out of that? No, but I got some... I got some bluets, so let's go to the store and check out there. Gold obviously isn't something I'm just going to get. But let's see if I can get some rifle parts because I really want to get some new rifle stuff. So, 8,000 is what I got out of one round, at least in this part here. So I'm going to try to get parts and equipment. Uh, let's see here. I want to build... What do I really want to build? Well, actually, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna try to build new broth, but I'm gonna build it here in the game because I'm thinking that's probably gonna be a pretty decent weapon for PVE as well, just because it's like the best weapon in the game. So, 1500. I might as well get a full auto rare.
Ooh, all right, so this is pretty cool. Let's see what we got here. Automatic trigger, holding down the trigger allows it continues to fire. Rare pulse trigger. So this has a couple of different bonuses that are on top of it. Strength plus 31%, rate of fire plus 2%, and stability. So that's pretty cool. What else is needed for a new buff? Obviously, you're gonna need a rare Gatling barrel. Ooh, spending them bluets. But I'm spending it on something that's gonna be good. Oh, and then you get more reload rate. Or so I say a better reload rate. Clip size and strength. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm suddenly starting to feel really excited about these different bonuses I can get on items. Because it's it's a new element. So I'm liking that. Rare high capacity magazine. I should have enough for that. And that is another element to it. I won't have enough for the Tesla, but that's okay because that's kind of an add-on. Ooh, buddy! Ooh! So strength there. Okay, so I believe that is the rare statistic. Maybe is that the rare statistic? I uh, will have to compare it to something that is just basic and normal. I have enough for a... Somewhere around here is going to be a pulse parts. Yes. So I'll open that as well. It's just going to be random parts here. Okay, so we got a bio scanner. Nice. I'm going to use that. And then a full auto trigger. So you get 31%. We'll be able to compare that to the other full auto trigger I got. Health. <laughs> if I want to be a medic. Oh, and actually, I should be able to test this. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Health kickback. Five plus 5%. Cool. All right, so now we're actually really learning about this and actually being able to test this and see it in work. And this is kind of interesting. So it's going to be PvE broth. New broth. Boom. How do you know what I wanted? <laughs> Except for this. And I don't have bouncing or any of that stuff going on. I didn't get a compact stock. Gatling. Nice. Full auto trigger. I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No health. No health. Let's test this. Let's just see how strong this is. Did I see about 11 damage per bullet? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah! Interesting. It did a... That's a ton of damage per bullet. And at the same time... I don't really feel that much stronger than I already am. I'm gonna have to add all this up just to see how much health these people really have now. Because that seems like a different amount. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So what you can see there is a lot stronger NPCs now. Ah, oh, okay. So stuff scaling differently. Mm, that would have been a dream gun with just that much damage. But that would have been way too easy after one match have a gun this powerful. I tell you what. Let's go ahead and head into PvP and see how this actually works out with the loadout. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so we are doing Jackhammer Trailer Park at night. I don't have any laser guidance system, but I do have some stuff on it. We're going to see how it all works out. One shot killed by just about everybody there. Let's go ahead and respawn and see how this works. Some people are obviously going to have better weapons at this point just because of what can be upgraded. But wow, that is powerful. Holy cow. But what? <laughs> Um, oh my. Okay, so somebody obviously stole the hammer, as we can tell right now. Yeah. That is deadly. If I can hit him. Hello, what happened there? Your team has taken the hammer. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Hmm. You have returned back. The enemy has stolen the hammer. 
This is going to be real interesting. Come on. A lot harder to hit without the laser. Of course, I feel like that guy didn't even scratch me. Still haven't rebound the button. No idea if I was gonna have enough damage to it, but your team has dropped the hammer. No. Okay, but now I got grenades. Did I have grenades last time? Because that would have been lame. Has captured the hammer. <sighs> Probably. Team's hammer has been returned. Melee is weak. Hmm. I don't really know. Things are definitely different. Then again, I'm not really. Don't have anything I'm used to. You have taken the hammer. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Your hammer has been returned. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the health. I think I can take this guy out. That guy kills me so quickly there. Wow, he's able to shoot me from all the way over there. He must have a semiotic rifle or something. That's what I get for chasing though. The enemy has captured the hammer. I can remember Maitley is not that powerful, but it worked out there. I think they're going to have some weapon balancing to do. Oops, that was a bad shot. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Not sure how Your weak people are. Your hammer has been returned. Let's see what he's got for weapon. The enemy has stolen the, the same hammer. gun twice. You have been smashed by the hammer. Just shoot him once. It'd actually be pretty interesting to have the same weapon weak as compared to like an overpowered version of it. The enemy has captured the hammer. This is going pretty quick. That's alright. What? Come on. Wow, there's some serious balancing that needs to happen here. All, that, all you need to have is a rifle that's semi-automatic, that's upgraded. Apparently. That's what I'm seeing. I mean, look at that. Wow, that was just like a random body shot. It did that much damage to me. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a rifle with slug loaded, and it could pretty much kill me in just a, a one or two shots. Really, it's a headshot. Of course, that's what I want it. Whoa, it's gonna take some getting used to though. I wish you could see what parts are on a gun. But. That is strong. The enemy has Woo! The I like his gun. You have returned the hammer. You have taken the hammer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Successful hammer kill you have to drop. Ah! <laughs> We're going to go for a quad kill. Nice. 
bots are running the flag here. I'm gonna have to investigate see how I can actually get a weapon like that. This is a close game. But as you can tell, there's... there's, there's <sighs> Upgrade that snipers, man. Those snipers. Maybe. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Hmm. You have taken the hammer. Bot is the not too smart. Neither are the people I'm chasing. <laughs> now. You have returned the hammer. The enemy has stolen the hammer. <sighs> Same guy. Same stupid rifle. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Your hammer has been returned. Get it. Get it, guys. Get it. Get the hammer. Are you serious? I gotta kill this Mac guy without him seeing me. Kind of the key to getting his gun. The enemy has stolen the hammer. <sighs> that is gonna be good. And that's gonna get real annoying real quick. Hope he sniper rifles. That was pretty bad too. Your team has taken the hammer. Your team has dropped the hammer. The enemy has dropped the hammer. You have returned the hammer. Woohoo! The enemy has stolen the hammer. You have taken the hammer. You dropped the hammer. Your team has taken the hammer. Hmm, <sighs> still doing all right. The enemy has dropped the 32 hammer. and 8. Hmm. Your hammer has been returned. Are there no bots? Or are they just not showing up on the scoreboard? Side, then I might as well just come over here. What do we got? Five minutes to finish the game off. Come on. Not my first time. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Win! <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Not good. Ah! Your team has dropped the, the opposing team's hammer has been returned. <sighs> okay. So there's two people. That was such uh, crap. That's pretty long range. Come on, dude. Come on. You got it. The enemy has captured. Close match. Ugh. Semi-auto rifles is just what it's all gonna be. Gosh, that is just stupid. The enemy has dropped the hammer. Your hammer has been returned. Not for long. The enemy has stolen the hammer. Your team has taken the hammer. Gosh, going after the melee is just almost pointless. No! Come on, team. That was a tough game, but it ended up working out in our favor. So, whew, what did we learn there from that match? Well, hello, rifles. You are welcome in the OP world. I should say, welcome to the OP world. Because, um, yeah, semi-automatic rifles, or basically, maybe it's just anything with a slug loading. That's just kind of ridiculous. But we're going to see how it works out there. I did get a couple of boxes. I got a reward box crate and a reward box a lock box we're going to end up seeing what this is all about oh they all quit bye all right so here's all these new things that are going on here what is this one here equipped fusion mode what's a star next to it just haven't seen it before okay whatever let's open up the box for crate all right so we got aluminum stock we got some mortar high capacity and manual so those are all good good and fun one rare item common or better items Ooh, uncommon or better items it requires two bombs so let's open this up see if we can let me buy bombs then Oh, bombs require gold. You know, that's kind of crappy. Ugh, I'm not so sure about that. It requires space bucks. Um, yeah, that is kind of lame. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. By the way, where'd my box go? Oh, there it is. But there it is that's what that is let's see if i can change up this with something else i'm not going to use or that isn't being used maybe that's what the star means it's being used uh, to get something better fusion mode so 
I'm going to put health over here. I'm going to put... probably want to have that, actually. That is a, for a rifle, so that'll be good. Something I'm not going to use. Okay. And... yep. It needs four items. Alright, so probably scatter... I might end up using that. <laughs> okay, so the green check mark actually seems there it is. The green check mark are making things that are being used. Oh, and I don't need this. Fuse items. So I gotta put something in the middle. Okay, whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's just see if this ends up working out. I want to make a better... It seems like I want to make a better automatic. Is this what it is? Three-round burst? A better compact stock for... No. For the rifle. I'd rather have... I'd rather have it be that. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I ended up making the high-capacity magazine... Progress to uncommon. Okay, so you kind of level it up by using junk items. That's weird. Hmm. I'm going to pick up a couple more rifle parts because I kind of want to see if I can end up with something that is really going to work out pretty good for a rifle there. That was actually pretty impressive to see what was going on there. Sniper pack? Okay, yeah, I'll do the sniper pack. Okay, so that was for beam health pickup as a deployable, and then shock absorbing. So, well, that's good. I got a health pickup. I don't know. That's weird. It's it's interesting because you're going to have to work pretty hard to build the gun that you want to build. So it's going to be really valuable to know what guns are going to be good that you are going to want to build. So what I got going on here is actually probably going to be really important here <laughs> as the game's moving forward and kind of developing so yeah that's going to be kind of pretty cool and you guys are actually going to be able to write out different recommendations and whatnot so that's going to be pretty cool plus different rarities and the benefits of those rarities so it's really going to take what we do here the weapon crafting thing and take it to the next level and as we can see a couple of the weapons that we've already run into thus far are you know some of them are probably going to have to be nerfed because there are just some guns that seem way too powerful in pvp that just uh, are not balanced yet. So we're going to end up seeing how that all works out here by the end of beta. But I plan to explore many more of those weapons and many more of that stuff and see if I can find some OP stuff and some stuff that is not as OP as others. And then just share them with you. At any rate, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. If you got different comments and different stuff that you've already found out about PvE, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and we're going to give it a shot and we'll discuss stuff down there. And if you have a weapon build you want me to try, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And now I guess not only does it take the fluids to do it, but the components as well. And if I have them, I'll give them a shot for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace. Brothgar out.